Hello everyone, welcome back to this video. In today's video, I will be explaining about Camps India, why the promoters has sold their stake in the Camps. And before that, please make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, let's start the video. The first thing uh, in the Camps India, so what is the problem with Camps India? I think there is no news that there was a problem with the Camps India or, um, or if you see uh, the valuations of uh, Camps India, there is no big change. So there is no problem with the Camps India, no problem with the valuations. It is not overvalued, it is not overbought as of now. But if you see uh, the Camps India, let me take you into the screener. So if you see Camps India, so their ROC and ROE was great. And, uh, and if you see the operating profit margin, it has increased from the last few quarters. If you see from the 2012, it was increased, uh, you know, considerably. So the operating profit uh, margin was growing. And if you see the uh, net profit also, it has gone from to 51 crores from 2012 to 297 crores. If you see the from the last three to four years, like one, two, three, four, five years, from 164 to 297 crores. So the EPS value, which is uh, which is the main parameter to see some mid caps and small cap stocks. If you see the EPS, the it has gone by double. So 33.65 to 60.61. And I want to say the CDSL, Camps India, and K FinTech. These are all, you know, when the bull run starts, people want to invest in the mutual fund. So people want to invest in the, uh, people want to invest in uh, stocks. So that's where the uh, real business works. So Camps India is a biggest, biggest uh, business in the mutual fund industry. So it is a mutual funds transfer agency, same like CDSL, but it is operating in the mutual fund agency. The Camps India is, uh, is like, uh, you know, uh, a it's like I can say it's like operating about 69.4 percent so it is like uh, monopoly right so it's like monopoly a strong monopoly and K fintech has you know has uh, some more share so this is accordingly this is a duopoly game but it has see here the transfer agents of mutual funds represent 22 trillions with a 69.4 mutual funds aggregate market share so it has a lot of uh, market share in these camps India so there was not a uh, problem with business there is no problem with the uh, uh, fundamentals there is no problem with the financials it is not at overvalued it is not a overbought see if you see the p ratio also it is somewhere around 45 in a growing industry like uh, this transfer agency is a growing industry it is a duopoly it's like you know uh, one of the uh, uh, sector that you can believe the india had uh, the india people are investing about three to four percent in the stock market right if them if the people or want to invest in the equity market or mutual fund or mutual funds people will give money to the mutual fund holders so mutual funds will be going to buy f uh, buy the stake right so this infrastructure the camps infrastructure will help this uh, the camps infrastructure helps these uh, you know AM amcs to manage their uh, uh, manage their mutual uh, mutual funds i see if you see the p i these i will consider the p the good p for these kind of stocks whether it is camps india whether it is C it, uh, cdsl whether it is k fintech i will make sure that the p is below about 50 so i think the good p for these kind of stocks is somewhere around 60 okay so good p is somewhere around 60 and it was trading at 40 to 45 and uh, the roc was great and uh, roe was great the dividend yield was great and everything looks fine but what what is the problem uh, for the promoter so if you see the trades if you see the trades uh, block deals see great terrain investment so great terrain investment is a promoter for this camps india if you see this it it is exited so it uh, it sold all their equity stake right on 4th december so all equity share but you should see two things whether it, it is gone to the you know public which are also called as weekends or whether it is bought by the fis or ds if you see these are all these are all you know uh, i can say the powerful hands right so these are not weekends see the bandhan mutual funds bajaj alliance ashoka indian equity birla sun life and uh, they they sold that uti mid cap all these are fias and eas which are which they the share was uh, of equity was in the strong hands so what happens here is uh, fias and eas will be the board of directors right so board of directors takes decisions it is not only with the camps india if you see the top notch companies like icici bank see there uh, see their FIS and EAS or, or the board of directors and they are running the company. If you see recently HDFC bank, okay, so recently HDFC bank, uh, HDFC bank also doesn't have promoters as of now because they 
sold because these people sold their stake to FIS and DAS. Now what happens is the FIS and DAS will be the board of directors for the company and they take the decisions. So it's 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 like you know they are the strong and they will take you know good amount of decisions. If you see Zomato also, I think Zomato is in strong hands. Yeah, you see the Zomato is on the strong end. So FIS and DAS are the running the company. If you see when the people when they are exited, so they exited on March 2022, and these people, the FIS and DAS, make sure that the company will not be running. Uh, in losses so see the EPS value is somewhere around when it was entered into the market it is somewhere around 6500 minus 6523 and now it came to zero so from now it may jump to two rupees or three rupees or from now the stock price can double or triple or ten times so uh, this is a different topic but board of directors will be FIS and DAS and these people make decisions that are good for the company and they make sure that the company will be doing well in the coming years right they are the strong hands and they have the power of taking decisions uh, that's uh, that's I, I that is what i want to say so here all all the stake that uh, promoters sold they are bought by the strong people like FIS and DAS if you see i if you see uh, the patterns or technical patterns i can say sorry there was a problem yeah. right. so if you see there was a pure technical pattern so so my target for this i have already made a video about it so let me remove the drawings okay right so if you see, if you mark here, this will be the head and shoulders, right? Yeah. So this is shoulder, this is one shoulder, this is one shoulder, this is, you know, head and this is shoulder. So head and shoulder pattern was formed clearly. And what is the target? The target price of this is about from here to, to here. And if you go and keep here, uh, then the uh, then from here there will be a 20 24 percent of gain but see here there is another pattern was formed here if you see if you see here this is cup with handle so if you see uh, not cup with handle also this is cup with handle and i can say this is the head and shoulder right so from here it is head and shoulder so what is the target of this one so from here to here this is 50 percent gain more than 50 percent gain i can say yeah 33 percent which is at all time high from now if you are uh, from now from now it is about 43 percent or 42 percent of gain if you see my last videos i had done a lot of this video yeah if you see my videos see here uh, the camps india i was explained about camps india about four months ago when i was explained it was somewhere around 2400 or 2200 so if you are invested then you are if you are invested then you are making a profit of uh, 500 per stock and if you are now investing then you had a chance of growing more than 42 percent it's only my opinion please do your own research before investing in any stock so this is not your recommendation i was explaining what should you see so uh, promoters holding has decreased right so there was no problem with the company i think the fund they are fundamentally very good and they are financially good and the technical patterns are supporting them so my target for this stock is 40% from now and uh, if you are invested uh, when I had done the video or if you consider that and uh, made a trade then you had gained about 60% of money. So it's not like uh, whatever I say you go and should put money. For example Delta Corporation and uh, I explain it about the Rajesh Export. So if you consider the stock if you see the bad drawbacks of Rajesh Exports I said then that this was a very riskier stock it's a commodity stock. Um, then there, if you done a thorough research you you should know that there was a problem with their management so you you may avoid it so please do your own research before making any decision same with the delta corporation i said this is a very high risk stock so always do your own research make sure that what are the drawbacks with the company what are the uh, what are the benefits of the company so two pros and cons and if you see the pros and cons then you will be made a a very good amount of knowledge and then you can trade how much money you want how much portfolio in if for example i know the delta corporation was very high risk uh, 
bet so i i kept my 1% of money right so 1% of money if if it gone also i will be not worrying about it same with the rajesh exports i had kept 3 to 4% of money if it is gone also i had no problem with it but i booked profits because i know there is a certain limit for everything if i hold that stock i may lose maybe i can gain also so it's my perspective if the rajesh exports go up also i will not regret if it is go uh, down also i will be not regretting so that's my point you should know what's the point why you are investing in certain stocks same with the adani i know that if the adani boom up then you know there was a one factor if if some some uh, something win elections or some something or uh, that will be you know a skyrocket a skyrocket the uh, share if not then it may fell down some more so that's that's uh, for now guys so please make sure that you should consider what is important more than what you want right so please consider that promoters are not selling because it is overvalued or overbought or uh, maybe they are thinking uh, investment in some other uh, companies so that's the reason they uh, they are eliminated you know they take off uh, they sold their equity and uh, came up so that's it for today guys and uh, thank you for everyone